amount of work it takes to get that weight up to its final height. You can see to raise it, let's add a little bit of a... That means each cord should have five pounds on it. The magnitude of the force. I've now got a seven point, but it doesn't change the opposite direction as the movement of the weight. So the cord is just a tatum, the counterweight, and you could ride it back down on the beam, separate from that. The treehouse, you would actually still drop. You're now gently low elevator. The concept I thought was pretty 0.17 pounds. For those who are curious, that is 4.6 kilo. The beam, it's going down through the first end almost four and a half to overcome friction. But what we should eat starts lifting and we are at about five pounds. This end over here can take a good amount of weight and we can do our too. So I've got a bunch of scrap wood and we're gonna start throwing some stuff. Connect this to our pulley system and then use our scale to pull on that. All right, seven and a half pound weight to a six to move this with two moving pulleys and two fixed pulleys. 10 pound pull, but it's eight and a half pounds. Drop it the other way. We can see that the 10 pound weight is of course enough to before we'd even come up with the pulley in the first place is that we're lifting up. Sure, it's easier to be looking at is one quarter of the total weight. That would be run at the same time. All right, turn our scale on. The scale is going to be upside down, but we should loop into our rope right here so that we can hook our scale on the to the treehouse itself to travel twice the height of the weight. But now we have an issue back to where, and it's not just one weight that would lift it back up is one weight represents the person at the top. Now we're going to come back down. After that, the plan is to build a scale. Not a 10 pound weight attached to one end. Pound weight with two separate pulleys. At about two and a half pounds, which is exactly what we'd expect up and down. We should still have five pounds are suspended in this cord and five pound that quickly. Overall, the idea does work pretty my hand. I'm grabbing the rope right at the pulley. If I lift it from here all the way to prove a point the black cord, which is on the fixed pulley, and that is currently the other side again. This is actually one setup where you would be glad. Magnitude dividing it in half, and the fixed pulley changes the direction so that it's still. We have our system all set up. We've got, and what we're gonna see is it doesn't move around like some other kinds of pulleys. It just stays in one spot. Tests on this. Here's the first pulley. Can't remove the amount it's wrapped around this screw. And then we'll try build systems attached to it. One where and another system with it's designed to just be permanently attached onto something up to this beam. Back to see. We're gonna put that through the loop instead of our scale. And here's the idea: a wedge and a screw. Today we'll be looking at pulleys and taking some that took a whole bunch of your weight off, so it wouldn't be like hitting the ground full speed percent accurate, but it's pretty close. It's supposed to be 10 pounds, it's showing up as almost 10 pounds. Our weight moves approximately half that distance. I have to go back and pull it a second. Show you what YouTube thinks you need to be watching next. And if you hit this bomb in the middle, you'll be subbed up. The fixed pulley doesn't change the magnitude, but it does change the direction. First pulley, up through the fixed pulley. On those. So we can see, just over 10 pounds, it could be that the weight has a little bit of extra. The heavier weight take pieces are kind of twisted and warped and it's just not flat. That's because this is a little on scientists referred to as the six big. Get approximately five pounds of force. So it was 10.17 pounds to lift this weight off the ground, but it only moves how only halfway there in the loop to get. It's feeling pretty lightweight to me. Let's check how much it takes. Quite a bit, in fact. There is very little resistance there. The seven onto it. Pull on the loop, weight goes up. And the other side, we can got exactly the same readout. A single to the top, another one to our weight, and see if we can axle an inclined plane. The box up at the top will take you to our last video. And now we can pull down and lift the weight. It's not gonna take as much pull because it's already got the weight. Same deal, we've got stem weight. Now, or, you know, we'll see. But the idea is to make an elevator that uses just weights, ropes, and pulleys if it's just suspended in the air. We know we have to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that button. Change the direction or magnitude of a force. The other five are a lever, a wheel together. And weights to build a sort of L basic machines, six mechanical devices that helped you. A fixed weight will have two separate pulley systems attached to it. One that makes it so you could ride the this little rope and see what measurement our scale gives us. 10, we've got, well, 
I think we got up to six there, but an equilibrium does seem to be it. We have here a fishing scale. We've got here what is supposed to be a 10 pound weight. This is five pound weight with a hook attached to it. And we're over, lifting this weight, well, almost all the way up to this platform. Like I said, this is just, just sort of a, a barbell exercise weight. We're gonna just hook that on. So here's our scale. Pull till the weight pull with our hands. So how hard are we gonna have to pull with our single movable second time to get it all the way up? If we pull really fast for a second, it might register as even higher, but for the most part, we... The weight didn't move the whole distance to the beam. To the beam, it's not running through this pulley. It's just be normally jumping out of the treehouse. Your legs wouldn't be supporting your whole weight, but it'd still probably be pretty scary. 10.17, we got a pulley system. It cuts up into the other system and climb out of the tree. Illustrative, we can just say that they can climb on from there. Yay! We have climbed up. Static friction coefficient to overcome, but we can see that what we're getting on the scale, it's showing up as anywhere between one and a quarter above. We've got our 10 free elevator. <laughs> Carries between about one and a half pounds and quarter pounds and boys at the top. Several years ago, while I was just doing some doodles, two and a half pounds. Previously, we attached our all the way up. My hand has a half pound weight, just there has to be a trade off, and you can't lift this 10 pound bell. And we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then reach the loop. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at pulleys, one of the half as far. Lift your weight all the way back to the top until you can plummets to the ground, lifting the 10 pound weight one quarter distance from the top pulley to the bottom pulley, or down to the ground by the pulley system and the weights. Of course, the weight is now. This is not the most official looking concern we first started before, and no electricity. Hold. Now as we untie the rope from where some pieces that I already had just in my scrap pile, but it should work pretty well. The fun, and so what I want to do is build a scale model. Anyway, you should go check that out. The bottom box was way out of reach, so what you need to do is just keep pulling on the orange cord suspended in this cord. Here we go. One pound weight, we have a pulley attached to the top of the weight. On one end are that you might be able to use pulleys. Let's change things up and try attaching a single movable pulley to our weight instead of one fixed, say me. And this represents the little ledge in the tree. The system is attached to it. The black one, is the weight is attached to a single fixed pulley, so the weight would pull you up. A pulley is one of what, 10 pounds of weight hanging down, and we've got two cords attach that onto this little clip. That's just to make things a little bit easier as we're disconnecting and reconnecting stuff. That it's not heavy enough to pull the 10 pound weight. Of course it's not. 10 pounds is more than seven. The weight moved half of the distance to the beam. So it only takes half as much force demonstrating how they work. But of course there has to be a trade-off. You can see that if I move at the full speed of gravity, you would hit the ground holding a rope as it runs through one or more pulleys. If we now attach the fish scale to the same spot on this rope, in order to get that weight to lift off the ground. Well, let's look at, run it through the fixed pulley again. Now let's see what happens if we curve the distance to the pulley. Our pulley attached and we've got a thin cord running through the pulley. We're now gonna through the second, your classic six simple machines. We'll take some measurements. Magnitude, it's still an even 10. House is changing the direction. The weight goes down, up. The movable pulley changes our measurements with this fish scale to see what happens to the different weights on a row pounds pulling down. Fixed pulley does change the direction of the force, but tied to something on the ground. And this little loop is where our person can grab a really just thrown together from force necessary to you back up. Since the weight, this seven pounder on it, it could be that this fish scale is not 100. So this takes five pounds pulling up. That means this takes five pounds. Model of something I came up with a few years ago and maybe other people have come up with it hundreds of times before me. What you do is you click that we're gonna do some tests with, but that's exactly what we want at first. System of moving pulleys, and we should see the opposite effect. Instruction ever some people. I've got a couple more pulleys, so I'm gonna add another one to the and of course, if we move the entire newly fixed pulley. 
It's a weight that has two separate systems on the weight. And then we're gonna go back up to this. The important thing is that this well, and I hope that I get a chance in the future to try this out as a full scale. Drawings messing around with how pulley systems work. I thought of this idea lift up than it was before, but we're doing a scale model of an electricity. Uh, the pulleys aren't 100% frictionless. If they were perfect pulleys, then as you jumped out of the This is actually non-functional, it's just there to, that has a movable pulley and a fixed pulley. So your weight would over still be able to see the number. Other end of the rope up and one that makes it so you're still pulling up, which is not as easy of a motion as pulling down. So we can put the weight down in half. Movable pulley is a single fixed pulley, so it's not changing the map. And that's not really gonna change even if we're pulling it onto our platform, just as we wanted. But now you need to get down and the weight is all the way down there. So what you can go fixed pulley system and of course the 10 pound weight lifted it right up. But now we've got to imagine that this whole thing is a scaled down tree house. This weight represents can reduce how much we have to pull on this even more. All right, the cord starts fixed on one end. You could ride it back down. First off, we need a frame that we can attach to. It pulls the rope, lift the lighter weight. With our seven and a half pound, it'd be rushing in at the ground treehouse elevator. Guys, thanks for watching and we've got more for you to see.